Hello guys, Adrian here from Mapsid. So in this uh, super short video, I want to say a few words about the latest features of this uh, experimental starter um, that uh, showcases how to um, generate and uh, build uh, dynamic services in Django without much coding. So this starter, which is open source and saved on GitHub, you can find the link to the to this uh, starter in uh, on on the material description um, we can uh, build uh, we have the possibility to build uh, dynamic apis uh, secure dynamic apis on top of the rf without much effort uh, just by providing some minimal configuration and um, another thing is the dynamic data tables which uh, is another another module that knows how to um, uh, build uh, paginated views for your models and for your information using some some nice features like uh, server side pagination export in different formats of the information and uh, the latest evolution that i want to showcase and demonstrate in this video is that dynamic data tables now uh, we can use the this uh, this library by building small widgets in the in our Django application. Before this uh, release, the before the this uh, evolution, uh, dynamic data table were was using the entire screen, so it was quite hard to incorporate the the view in your application because the styling was different and it was uh, usable and okay but it was not so nice for the for your design let's um, clone the application i will use my local environment and just start a product using using docker Okay, let's uh, start the application using uh, using Docker and uh, see how it goes. We we should have um, up and running the API and also data um, data table without much effort. I will increase the font size just to make uh, increase the visibility. Once we have the source code, just uh, use Docker Compose app minus minus build in order to to have the the product up and running. So um, and also you can uh, you can deploy live the product on render because um, Docker and the uh, render support are is are the basic uh, features that we provide in all our starters. But uh, for this demonstration, I will use uh, just Docker to showcase how to um, uh, use the starter um, to, to build secure APIs and also dynamic data tables. Uh, we are calling dynamic uh, services because um, the, the configuration on the left is your model definition and uh, on the right you have the API. In case you update the model, you just need to regenerate the API without any manual coding and you, you have the API updated. The same thing works also for the dynamic data table where the where the model once updated uh, the changes are automatically reflected in the um, uh, dynamic data table view so you don't have any things to, other things to, to code because all the layer is managed automatically by the by the libraries let's uh, access the the starter in the browser Okay, so the the product is styled with uh, admin LT design, which is also an open source UI library that you can use in any Django project. If we go here to the API, we can see that we can see the default ERF interface, and uh, of course we can interact and uh, create items and and uh, manage the information. So this is the dynamic uh, data table. So basically the the product model is um, is managed in this sim super simple view for now we have a, a simple uh, simple model with only two fields id and name let's create some uh, some information uh, 
Okay, so we have the information here. Uh, let's create a new one. Okay, so we have two items. If we go to the uh, dynamic API, we can see that the information is here. So basically, I didn't do anything. If we take a look at the at the code, so we have the API this folder regenerated. And uh, if we go here to the home and uh, visualize the models, we can see that uh, the product and the sales models are here. For product, we have two fields, ID and name. And uh, the same information uh, is visible here in the, in the UI. Okay, let's uh, search the information. I will filter the information using a simple string. So all looks good. Let's uh, go back to the source code and uh, add more 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 fields here. One, two, three. Okay, so basically the uh, now I have a more complex uh, product with more fields, and I will just. Uh, Restart a Docker and all the the process is uh, reiterated where the database is migrated and uh, we should be able to to see here the new the new table uh, with new columns and um, uh, just check out the, the the fact that the services are dynamic and we can use uh, use them without uh, without manual coding. Okay, so the Docker is up and running. Let's uh, go back to the. Sorry, I was I was closing the application interface by mistake. If we go here to the um, API, we have no information because all the um, the, the previous information was wiped, and uh, we can go here to the dynamic data table and we can see the new the new information name info one two three. Just like we define here in the in the model, let's uh, update the information. I will put some dummy data because I don't care. Okay, so we have the information here. We can update the information. Let's add some data here so the information is updated we can add more fields cool so we have two rows of course we can we can filter the information and other things let's uh, access the the um, dynamic api we can see that the information is automatically updated. We don't need to uh, code manually serializer in the in the API, so the information is just managed in the in the right way. So, guys, thanks for watching. Those are the um, uh, the latest features. Uh, both libraries, API generator and also dynamic data tables, are open source libraries. You can use in um, in your projects uh, without um, just uh, without limitations. Uh, both are licensed under the MIT. Uh, let us know what you think about uh, about these uh, um, these libraries. Let us know if you if you need support. Um, we provide few support uh, using uh, render and also using uh, Discord and also uh, email. And uh, in all cases, if anyone lands on a, on a bug, we will try to assist. Thanks again.